as we finish out this morning or, or segue into the Lord's table, let's take up the well, we, we kind of take up the red hymnals again, turning to 118, but the tune we're using is a little bit different than the one that's written. So those of you who read music, Bev, don't follow the music. <laughs> Jennifer will play it, play it through once the way we'll be singing. We'll be singing it to um, Wally Wally. So turning to 118 in the red hymnals, but using the tune Wally Wally with, with the words of 118. We'll have Jennifer play it through once and, and, and move into it. standing as we're able or seated as we're not, let us once again remind ourselves and each other what binds us together, that which we believe 
as we recite the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only begotten Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Please be seated as we are reminded that on the night our Lord was betrayed, he took the bread. Gave thanks to his Father in heaven, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, broken for you. So, Father in heaven, we bring this bread before you. We lift it up to you, asking your blessing upon it, and thanking you that the Lord Jesus, whom you sent as our Passover lamb, is likewise the bread of life the living bread on whom we feed. And so, Lord Jesus, as we partake of it, let us also be reminded that we are what we eat, that we are your presence in this time and place, that you be glorified in everything we say, do, and are. In your name, Lord Jesus, we pray to your glory. Amen. And again, because of certain strictures rather than the usual matzah we do have the individual pieces of bread all here untouched by human hands poured out of the bag and and so here we go body of Christ, broken for you, broken for me, broken for all of humanity, that we be made whole. Take, eat, and remember with joy and with thanksgiving.
When the supper was ended, our Lord took the cup. Again, he gave his father thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and drink of it. This cup is the cup of my blood. And with this blood, I make with you a new covenant, an everlasting covenant for all time, for the forgiveness of sin. As often as you drink this, drink it in memory of me. Father in heaven, we thank you for this cup. We thank you for its redness, which reminds us of Jesus' blood. We thank you that it is life-giving, as his blood is life-giving. As we drink of it, Lord God, we ask that we, re, that we be reminded that the blood is indeed the life, that we have eternal life through the blood of him who shed it on our behalf, the Lord Jesus, who sits at your right hand, our Passover lamb, in whose name we pray. of Christ, shed for you, shed for me, shed for all of humanity for the forgiveness of sin. Take, drink, and remember with joy and with thanksgiving. Please join with me in prayer once again. Father in heaven, we thank you for this bread. We thank you for this cup. We thank you that we can come together at this Lord's table, sharing a meal one with another, a foretaste of the heavenly banquet with our bridegroom, the Lord Jesus Christ. And so, Lord Jesus, we ask your blessing on us in this time and this place as we Go forth and minister in your name. Holy Spirit, open our hearts and minds to the call of our great shepherd, our King and Savior, the Lord Jesus, in whose name we pray. Amen. As we finish up this morning, if you'll take, please, the inserts in your bulletin as we sing our closing hymn this morning, The Lord is my shepherd always. Let's not say we did. The Lord is my 
shepherd, I'll walk with him always. He leads me by still waters, I'll walk with him always. Always, always, I'll walk with him always. Always, always, I walk with him always. The Lord is my shepherd, I'll follow him always. He leads me by the waters, I'll follow him. still waters, I'll live for him always, 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 I'll live for him always, 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 I'll live for him always. The Lord is my shepherd, I'll walk with him always. He leads me by still waters, I'll walk with him always. And now the God of peace, that brought back again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. And all the saints said, Amen. Go in peace. Love and serve the Lord.